What's up everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the brand new content that was released today and some upcoming content in MLB The Show 23, so let's go ahead and get right into it. As of right now, we have double XP until the end of the weekend. We have some brand new show shop packs. We also have some brand new April Tops Now players. And we have an additional hint at a brand new Ken Griffey Jr. that's coming out over the next four days. I'm excited about that uh, backwards hat. That's a hint there. It kind of leads me to believe a few things. We're also going to have a roster update on the 21st and some additional content in another program with 10 new Charisma Series players. Uh, brand new rewards. We got a new chase pack coming. I was talking about that in a couple previous videos. And we have max power flashbacks will take you to the moon. So we might have a moonshot event coming out. And that would make sense to uh, that Ken Griffey Jr. that we'll be talking about in a little bit. Tomorrow's Jackie Robinson Day. Instead of releasing a brand new Jackie Robinson, they decided to supercharge the Sanford Green series. Uh, the Kansas City Monarchs version of Jackie Robinson. If you have all of the cards with that buck boost then you will be able to get this card uh, pretty pretty good. I mean, 111, 92 with 120 and 108 power, 111 vision, diamond defense, pretty much maxed out speed. It's a really good card. When we take a look at the brand new Welcome to the Show Shop packs, we have some brand new 99 overall. Uh, this one's a Grayson Rodriguez card. He does have Outlier. It's a pretty solid player all, all around. Francisco Alvarez, a solid power hitting catcher. Probably would stick with uh, a couple other guys, but that's just my personal preference. This card, Ellie De La Cruz, I think is the best one out of this pack this time around. And we also have some pretty good uh, base round players as well. Taj Bradley just made his debut for the Rays yesterday. I watched that that early part of the game. It looked pretty good. He looked locked in. He did lead off with a walk, but it was a pretty solid all-around performance. We have Curtis Mead. I don't really know anything about this guy. Probably didn't say his name correctly, but a, another Rays player. Second baseman with first base and third base secondary. Brett Beatty is a future star card we had in last year's game. This card is really good. Has an awesome swing. It's the same type of swing as in last year, so you know he'll play really well. We have 95 Andy Rodriguez. This card is also a switch hitting catcher, and I would probably go with this guy over a couple of these other cards. That's just my personal preference, but Oswald Peraza, definitely a solid card. I'm pretty sure we had a future star version of him a couple years ago, maybe even last year as well. Michael Bush, don't know anything about this guy, but I'll probably learn after I see him in the game now. Uh, second baseman, kind of reminds me a little bit like Max Muncy there uh, for the Dodgers, kind of a future star style of Max Muncy. But with that said, these future star cards did fluctuate in price a good amount. Some of these other guys have gone up to 45, 40,000, and they were right at this price from this brand new pack um, earlier, right? They were at one point at the 20,000 mark, just like these brand new cards that we got today. So that might be something that you want to invest in. Maybe buy a couple of those players, flip them after that pack is no longer available. But we have an additional pack. This is the Dynamic Duos pack. We have Gary Carter and Brandon Webb. Uh, personally, I wouldn't really use either of these guys. I thought Gary Carter might be a little bit better. He would be a platoon option, I think, um, as a guy to face lefties specifically. We do have some brand new Tops Now players. You're able to earn 11 Set 1 guys for free. So keep that in mind. That might cause other Set 1 players to also rise in price. And if you notice on the updated schedule, of course, I mentioned Ken Griffey Jr. I think the backwards hat hint is hinting at a home run derby version of Ken Griffey Jr. And we had one a couple years ago in MLB The Show 20. These were his attributes. I, I don't think this will be the exact card that we get. I'm hoping it's a little bit better than this one with some of those uh, power power numbers from the previous card. I really hope he, they give him his uh, you know specific swing, his traditional Ken Griffey Jr. swing, rather than that one that we had in last year from that second half or whatever. It was a different type. I don't think the new Ken Griffey Jr. will be this good. I think there will eventually be a better version, but I could be wrong there. I, I could be way off. It could be the best version of Ken Griffey Jr. we've ever seen. But until next time, I'm College Lefty, and that is the content in the game right now and the upcoming content over the next couple of days. Until next time, peace out.